Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to walk you through my NixOS setup on how I'm self-hosting NextCloud. It's gonna be secure, modular, as well as fully declarative. Um, I'm also gonna cover how I'm using Authentic for OAuth authentication, as well as SOPs for my super management. So if you don't know, NextCloud is a powerful self-hosted platform that lets you run your own private cloud. Uh, you can think of it as their personal alternative to services like Google Drive or OneDrive, Dropbox, but with full control over your data. And then um, if you don't know, Authentic is an identity provider that handles authentication and access control. So in this setup that I'm going to show you, I'm using Authentic to provide OAuth login for NextCloud, which means users can securely log in um, using a centralized credentials. So before we dive into this setup, let's quickly cover over some of the prerequisites. First, you'll need Flakes enabled and Docker running on your NixOS system. And this is how you set this up for Flakes. Um, if you're using NixOS and want reproducible modular configs, um, like the ones that I'm showing you, uh, you have to use Flakes. Um, so you want to add this to your Nix config. You want to add the Nix dot settings dot experimental features uh, the next command and flakes and then and also in my setup um, i'm running authentic using docker compose so we need to have docker enabled and ready so you'll just add the virtualization docker enable equals true and then finally um, we're going to talk about traffic real quick so i use traffic as my reverse proxy across all of my services um, it handles my TLS routing and uh, service discovery all declaratively. Um, if you haven't seen my traffic setup yet, please go check out my previous video where I walk you through that full configuration. So if you have all that up and running right now, let's go ahead and dive right in. So I'm going to go over my nextcloud.nix module. So you look at the top, there's just a services.nextcloud. Enable equals true, that just activates the nextcloud service on your system. The packages that we're using at the latest stable version within Next Package will be NextCloud 32. HTTPS, it just enables support for secure communication. Host name, you can just leave it at localhost. All that does is just it forces, um, it just sets the, the host name that NextCloud will bind to. And then looking at the config configuration, uh, the admin pass file. So what that is, is that pulls the admin password from a SOPs created or a SOPs managed secret file. This just keeps the credentials out of plain text configs. And then you have your DB type, your database type, which for this setup, we're using SQLite, which is simple, file-based, and ideal for small setups. And then the data directory, this is specifies where NextCloud will store the user files as well as the app data. And then you have your settings, trusted domains, which prevents host header spoofing by explicitly listing domains and IPs that NextCloud should trust. And then finally, you have your firewall, um, your firewall rules. And for this setup, you need to have 8443 and then 8080 open. And this is really the bare minimum configuration that is needed to run NextCloud. All right, so next let's talk about the authentic module. And I went over this type of module in, in one of my previous videos. Simply it's um, it's a Docker Compose, but we're gonna wrap it into a systemd service, which keeps it uh, declarative. I'm not gonna go over it completely, but essentially it'll check for any new images before running, it'll start it, uh, it'll stop it, and it'll restart on failure. Essentially, this module ensures that Authentic is automatically pulled, started, and stopped using Docker Compose, all managed by System D. Um, it integrates Authentic into your NextOS system declaratively so that it starts on boot and restarts on failure. So, keep it for some things to note. I am using the official Authentic. Um, Docker Compose file you know, straight from the website. We have a couple of changes to the network and port settings to match my environment. Um, if you want to deep dive into how I set up Authentic via Docker Compose, I have a video on that. Um, it's not using NixOS, but it can be applicable 
to what we're doing right here. Um, so once Authentic is set up, I'll configure NextCloud to use it as an OAuth provider, um, which will give me that centralized identity management across all my services. And to highlight again, as with all my services, I am using traffic, which handles my TLS routing and service discovery. Um, if you've seen my other videos, you know I always lean on traffic for that clean dynamic ingress. And again, for a deep dive on how I configure traffic, please watch, um, check out one of my earlier videos. All right, so now let's talk about secrets. So I use SOPs with age encryption to manage since the values like the admin uh, Nextcloud password that we need to configure. This just keeps my secrets um, version controlled, encrypted, and reproducible. So I did forget to mention this earlier, but you, knew, you do need to add um, age as well as SOPs to your packages in your configuration.mix file. So right here, you'll just add age and SOPs as well. And then make sure you do a sudo nixos uh, rebuild switch so that those packages can be available. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is I wanna create my key using the age key gen command, which will give me a private key and then a public key I can use for encryption. So this is the command I wanna run. Now first, I'm just gonna make sure the directory is um, created. And then I'm going to run the age key gen, and then we're going to output it into this file. I did get an error because I did this command earlier. I'm going to remove the key real quick. Okay, I removed the key. Now I'm going to run the command again. And this is what you should see. It should push out, um, print out your public key. So I'm going to copy this right now to my clipboard. So the next thing I want to do is I want to create a, a regular text file that has the NetCloud admin password. So ideally, you want to make sure to delete this file. If you're if you're working out of your repository directory, make sure you, you delete this file before committing to your repository. Or just to be on the safe side, you just want to create this file outside of your repository, which is what I'm going to do. And real quick, I just want to Make an admin.txt. I'm just going to make the password just password123. Save that. And now I can encrypt this admin.txt using this command. So SOPS using the age key with the public key right here. Input type binary, output type binary. And we're going to encrypt the admin.txt and we're going to save it as the next file admin key.txt.enc. All right. So I just want to verify that it did encrypt correctly. I can run this command, SOPS tag P for decrypt, and then the file name, and you should get password, one, two, three. All right, so now I'm going to move this, um, this encrypted file into my secrets directory. Okay, now that that's good, um, like in my nextcloud.nix file module, I can represent using the admin pass file equals config.sops.secrets and then the next cloud admin key.pass. So now if I go over to my configuration.nix file, I'm going to add this line of code right here for my SOPS configuration. Um, it shows where the SOPS file is located, um, the format that it is, and then the path. And then the H key file that I'm using to, de to decrypt and encrypt this secret. And then within my flake.nix file, I just want to make sure that I'm including under the inputs, the SOPS URL right here for the GitHub, and then exposing it as well within my outputs, the SOPS nix, nix module default. And then going back to my configuration.nix file, I want to go ahead and import those modules that we just created the nextcloud.nix and then authentic.nix into my configuration.nix right here. I'm just going to uncomment these two. Once you save, the last thing you want to do is you just want to run that sudo nixos rebuild switch. Um, we're going to use the flake command since we're using flakes. And we're going to let that build out. All right, and if you were successful with building it out, let's, let's real quick check to see that Docker is up and running. 
we can just run a Docker PS. And we can see that we have uh, authentic services running right now. Uh, we can also do a system CTL status authentic. And it will show that it is enabled and running. All right, so now that authentic is up and running, let's go ahead and wire it into Nextcloud using OAuth2. So I'm going to walk you through creating the provider and the application within authentic. And then after that, we'll configure Nextcloud as well. So for the initial authentic setup, um, you can follow the instructions on their website, but you'll want to go to the this link right here, the initial setup. And this is where you'll create um, your first admin user, which by default will be called AK admin. So you'll just enter an email and a password. And then you'll click continue. And as you can see, you're now logged in um, under the user AK admin. So before we uh, create that application and provider for Nextcloud, we need to create a user because we don't we don't necessarily want to use our admin user to log into Nextcloud. So let's go ahead and enter the admin interface. You go to directory users and you go to create. And we'll give it a username. Um, it's important to give it a name as well. And then you also want to give it an email. And then you can leave the rest um, as the default and you just click create. So the next thing we need to do is we need to create a password for the user that we created. So you'll click on your name and you'll click set password. And then we'll give it a password. And that should be it. Now we're going to um, log out and see if we can log in as um, the user we created. All right, and that's good. I'm able to log in. So the user that I created is not an admin, so I'm going to have to log out again and log back into the AK admin user. And now once I'm here, I can access the admin interface again. And now I'm going to um, create the application with the provider. I'll go to applications first. Then I'm going to click create with provider. I'll give it a name um, and it auto populates the Florida slug as well. So you can leave that like it is. You'll click next. And then you'll click the OAuth2 provider type and click next. From here, you can choose your um, authentic authorization flow. So for me, I like to choose explicit consent. So I get a, a pop up window that shows up. Just say, hey, you're logging into this application. And then if you scroll down, you want to copy, it's very important to copy the client ID as well as your client secret and paste that somewhere for use later. All right, and then you can leave everything else the same. You'll just click next. And then you can click next again. And then you just review everything. If it looks good, just click submit. And that should be it. Uh, now let's head over to Nextcloud. All right, so now that we're at Nextcloud, what we want to do is, uh, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to download the social login app, um, which is inside Nextcloud. So what you want to do is you want to log in um, using the credentials you created within the nextcloud.module.nix module. Um, the, your username will be root. Use that password you created, password123. And you just X through this. So now that we're logged in, we can go ahead and download the social login app. So what you want to do is you want to go to the plus apps. And then you can scroll down to social and communication, and then you want to look for the social login app. So it should look like this, social login via OAuth or Open ID. You're just going to click enable. So once that's done, now you want to head over to administration settings. And then under administration, you want to go to social login. And from here, you want to create a custom OAuth to uh, login. 
you click the plus sign and then you'll fill out the following information. So first you want to give it a internal name. We'll just call it authentic. Um, you can give it a title. It doesn't matter what it is. I'm just going to put authentic again. And just keep in mind, all of this will be on my GitHub repository. So you want to fill out the app base URL, authorized URL, token URL, profile URL, client IDs, which is what we copied before, as well as the client secret. And then if everything is good, you can click save at the bottom. So now once it's saved, you should be able to see a new login option um, when you log out of your next cloud that says uh, login with authentic. So let's, let's try it out and see if it's there. So as you can see, now I have the login with authentic. And real quick, I'm just going to log out of authentic. So it doesn't try to log in with the AK admin. So I'm signed out. Now I'm going to click login with authentic. So when I click that, um, now I can log in with the user I created earlier. What you mean? Password. And it gives me a little pop up because I chose explicit consent using my email address and general profile information. I'm going to click continue. And then it should create me a new account. As you can see, the little pop up came up. So now there's a lot more that you can configure as well, um, such as property mappings to assign your user groups, roles, or even admin privileges based on um, authentic, the authentic attributes. But for this demo, I just wanted to show you how you can uh, do it relatively easy, keep it at minimal, um, just to get you up and running. So that's pretty much it for the walkthrough. We have NextCloud running on NixOS, Authentic handling OAuth 2, and then Secrets managed securely via SOPS. And everything is wired together declaratively um, with flakes. So we kept it minimal for this demo, like I said earlier, um, just enough to get you up and running. But there's a ton more that you can do that you can build on um, the property mappings, the group based access. Um, if you want to go deeper, check out my previous videos on traffic routing, um, as well as authentic setup and secret lifestyle management. Um, I got walkthroughs for, for all of it. Drop a comment, like, and subscribe. Um, share this with anyone trying to build a secure, reproducible uh, infrastructure. So I'll see you in the next one.